welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. Today we're going to be a little wicked. And wickedly smart, that is. Wicked smart hot sauce. I've seen their sauces at different festivals. I've picked up some. And now I'm going to try some. This one is the Reserve. I believe it's Moss or Moss by Wicked Smart. Let's get into this one and see exactly what it is. Because I bought a few of them. And... I honestly forget what it was, what reason I bought them for. <clears throat> Crafted with maple syrup from St. Jacobs, Ontario. Smoky chipotle and scotch bonnet peppers. Moss, mass, is the mildest hot sauce in our lineup. That unleashes a carnival of bold flavors for your taste buds. This is mas, mas e mas porvor. I can't speak Spanish, so I just butchered that completely, and I apologize to anybody who was listening. <laughs> uh, it ain't hot, but it sure is good. <clears throat> and it says from here in Ontario, Canada, wickedhotsauce.com, usual stuff on there. So their ingredients list is not very big, but I guess typical for a hot sauce. We have apple cider vinegar, maple syrup, chipotle peppers, scotch bonnet peppers, garlic, salt, black pepper, smoked paprika, cumin, and cinnamon. So this one is going to be a fairly nice one, I'm assuming. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't want to assume anything wrong, but <laughs> give this a nice try and no, go off nicely. My trusty spoon. So it, it's runnier than what I would think with maple syrup in it. Almost like a thin barbecue sauce. <clears throat> Oh, I heard a pop on that one. Ooh. 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 <laughs> that smells divine. <clears throat> oh, that smells really, really good. Smells like, without even tasting it, just the, the smells alone. It smells like something you could use on pulled pork. It would be a really, really good uh, addition on pulled pork. Just going off the smell, off the five when we taste it. Ooh. So, there's a bit of a run to it. <clears throat> and bits of pepper and everything else in it. It's got almost a um, dark honey coloring on the spoon here. I wish you guys could smell it. It just smells absolutely divine. Cheers. Oh. 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 Clean up the drool. <laughs> that is good. That is very good. Oh, wow. That is. I was not wrong about being good with good, good on pulled pork. That is. I wish I had a few more bottles of this. Actually, I'm going to be making up a huge amount of pulled pork coming up. And this would be great to put it with it. Oh, wow. There's not really any heat. Like, there's heat, but there's not heat. It's, it's the presence of heat without the heat. Because the maple syrup and that, it, it, the sweetness of it completely negates the actual heat of the peppers. 
But all oh, that is so good. Absolutely so. I would, like I said, I'd love to put this on. Oh. That would be an amazing addition for what I have to do. <laughs> Feeding like 100 people with pulled pork. That would be a great uh, addition. I don't think that, that bottle would uh, cover it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that is, heat-wise, like I said, nothing there. It's a presence. But it says it's the mildest one, which I wasn't expecting like burn my mouth off. But the taste wise, oh I gotta give that a solid nine. A solid nine out of ten for heat. Or for some flavor I mean. Yeah. If it was a heat of nine out of ten, I don't think I'd be talking right now. But yeah, that is oh wow. That is absolutely amazing. Right? Wicked smart, wicked tasting is definitely, oh, wow. <clears throat> Some of the sauces that I've been trying in the last year or so have blown me away with the intricate, intricate, intricate yeah. you know the word I'm trying to say, it's just not coming out right now. Uh, <laughs> The way that they, they've done their flavorings, the way it hits the palate, the way it hits in every aspect, it's just, it's been blowing me away with the quality that keeps being put out there. Like, there's always been good sauces, and there's always been bad sauces, but I've been finding that maybe it's my palate changing or whatnot, but the flavors, the combinations, the, the magical touch that these creators are putting into their sauces to get the right balance of everything. It just, it's astounding. Like, and it just get, keeps getting better and better. So yeah, Wicked Smart, you did an amazing job with this one. Keep up the good work. I can't wait to try the other sauces I have of yours. And yeah, it's if you if you have a chance to try this sauce, try it. You don't have to enjoy heat to try this one. This is as I say, the mildest one on their their list. Great on pulled pork. Great. I'm sure you can use it on ribs, uh, wings, anything like that. It's just it's a nice, subtle, sweet, enjoyable sauce. <clears throat> and on that note, I'm gonna have some more. <laughs> I want to use up the whole bottle though. So I think it's like a city and just drink the bottle of it. But enjoy the heat, stay spicy. We'll see you next time. Where who knows what I'll try with. Look, wow. It's so good, it's bringing a tear to my eye. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing sauce. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Wish I'd bought some more bottles of this. Yes. That would be, as I said, amazing on pulled pork. But on that note, take care. We'll see you next time.